Ladies and gentlemen, the chicken wing has arrived. Basically, I just got the LG wing after the LG mobile shutdown. So let's get into it. We're going to go and unbox this thing and check this thing out. All right, y'all. So we're back here at the legendary unboxing table. And I've been meaning to get this for a little minute now, but we finally got the LG wing. Now, the main reason why I finally got the LG wing is because there's a crazy deal going on at T-Mobile right now. So if you go to T-Mobile.com and look for the LG wing, you can get these things for $600 brand new by not even having to add a line. There ain't no crazy hidden things you got to do or anything like that. All you got to do is just have a T-Mobile account. And if you don't got one, just use a friend or a family members and buy the phone. All I did was just upgrade my line and I didn't even have to pay an activation fee. So all I did was just pay strictly for the phone and I want to expedite the shipping so I paid for that too. But yeah man ah, it's finally here. I paid $658 or somewhere around there for this phone. So if you want to get this phone again you can get it at T-Mobile but you can also get it at Verizon and AT&T but it's still at the full price of like $1,050 or something like that so you might as well get it through T-Mobile if you can. Also it's going to be the best on T-Mobile because T-Mobile don't block all the firmware features like Verizon and AT&T do. Anyway so if you look at the front we got Wing here in the front with the 5G logo here at the bottom but if you look at the back we don't got millimeter meter wave on here we just got sub six as you can see meaning you're not gonna get those crazy fast speeds that you see people doing in chicago and milwaukee and all that but you will get around like 500 maybe if you get like bnn 41 but on the left you don't got nothing on my right you just got my info here like my serial number and all that stuff we got lg pay on here which i don't know who's using lg pay like at this point i'm pretty sure they're just using google pay we got qualcomm snapdragon so we do got a 765g in here which kind of disappoint me even though it's not a bad processor you find that in like the pixel 5 but again like it's a thousand dollars you would kind of expect better even though like it is a crazy phone on the back it's just telling you like the same thing with no millimeter wave and all that good stuff and at the top we got lg life's good so oh man i can't wait to get into this thing let's go and unbox this and it's powered by thank you of course lg by the way this is probably part of the reason of your shutdown because you put all this thank you stuff on here which makes no sense like that's a stupid branding in my opinion thank you is basically just talking about their ai but like who cares at the end of the day but y'all know we gotta do man ah Let's get into it. Cutting tape number one and cutting tape number two. All right, cool. All right, man, let's go and get into this. So I want to say real quick, my first complaint, like I know this, this is like nitpicking at this point, but it feels a little loose inside the box. I know people are going to go crazy in the comments for me just saying that because it's a little thing, but whatever. But I ain't had a flagship LG since the G4 and that thing had a boot loop issue and I don't even know if I really got to use that phone. So does that even count? Basically, I ain't had a quality LG phone in a minute. The only LG phone I got right now is the Zone 4 and I got that from Family Dog. But getting into this thing, here we are, man. LG Wing, and I don't even got a screen protector or a case or any of that, so I got to get one. But yeah, man, so we got the swivel mode, we got the gimbal motion camera, so a lot of people have been talking to me about that and telling me that's a dope feature, so I got to try that out. We got a 6.8-inch Full HD Plus Flawless POLED Full Vision Display, and then we got dual recording on there, which is just a software feature. Now, how do we get this thing out of here? Do we just, like, do it like that? I guess so. Oh, man, and look at that color. I'm so glad I got this color, man. This look dope already and i didn't even get out the plastic yet putting that to the side just real quick i got my t-mobile sim card so i'm gonna just throw that to the side real quick we got the lg warranty telling us here about that so that's cool it looked like we got the sim card and usual books inside this box but you know what we do with that we throw it to the side even though i want to get that sim card removed later we got the lg charger here so it is the usb c the usb c which is dope but it is a fast charger and it's 25 watts and here we got the usb c the usb c cable let's see what's up inside this box real quick and it looks like we just have oh we got an adapter in here that's dope all right lg i like that that's i like that that's that's really decent because we don't got a headphone jack that's what we got right there but yeah that's pretty much it for inside the box so let's go and throw that to the side real quick and here's our lg wing man so y'all know how i am i just don't like black phones like black phones are just boring in my opinion so i got the illusion sky and this is looking clean i'm gonna keep it real this color right here is better than any galaxy phone i've ever seen but let's go and peel off the plastic for the first time and there we go oh i'm doing this wrong hold up peeling this off and there we go here is our wing now do we got screen protector on here nope it don't look like it so definitely gotta get screen protector i ain't trying to scratch my phone but yeah here's our 6.8 inch curved screen here man it's a disappointment that lg stopped making phones because i wanted to get this ever since they announced it but yeah you can see at the bottom we got those two parts here to the phone we got the USB C. we don't got a headphone jack which is interesting we got a speaker and then we got a microphone and on the right side we got a power button and our two volume marker we got another microphone and we got a pop-up camera which i didn't even know about at first and on the left side we got a sim card slot and i'm pretty sure it's an sd card slot too on the back we got our three cameras here and if you look here closer we got hex motion stabilizer we got the lg logo and then for the first time you know we gotta do wait i don't remember which side it was oh wait it's this way all right 
that's for the first time that was our first wing i guess you want to say i don't know so just right now it's feeling a little bit weird just to open it up and close it but maybe i'll just get used to it but you can see right here we got a little slit so if i go ahead and open this up real quick that's where our earpiece is so it just goes through there so you can't talk on the phone like this if you want to i don't know why you would want to but you can i guess and yeah just looking around the phone we even got that purple design right here we're just looking real nice now ian's tech actually pointed this out i didn't even know about this but if you see this right here this is a dumb design LG why is it like this so if you see here the power buttons and the volume buttons are right here on the side when it's open and like it wasn't lowered or anything so you would have thought it made more sense but no I don't think they thought about that like obviously you can access it like this but what if you open it then it's a little bit harder to get to but all right let's go and just turn this thing on man so let's go ahead and hit that power button see if we got some juice up in here and it looks like we do it just vibrated and there we go lg wing so we don't got none out here yet so now i guess we wait for this thing to boot up and we got the t-mobile logo all right y'all so we got our lg wing booted up here and i still can't use this yet i'm pretty sure we can after the setup though but i'm gonna go through the setup real quick i'm gonna fast forward through this and i'm gonna get back to y'all all right y'all so we done we just got this thing set up and like my setup here just interrupted me through the you know setting this phone up here basically what i'm saying is i was signing into my lg account and it popped up on my phone here that i'm recording on but all right for the first time let's go and see what it actually looks like here oh it's the wrong way there we go and bang just like that here is our swivel home so it just says for swivel supported apps you can do all this stuff which i'm pretty sure there ain't a lot of but let's see here and done just like that so yeah i don't know about this phone man i'm gonna have to see if i want to actually keep this thing or not but i'm skeptical right now but now i gotta try for the first time using a pop-up camera so let's go and do that real quick and let's see here how does this work so now we're gonna flip it around and hold up wait for it and ball snap there we go there's that pop-up camera oh that's so weird man so it's just telling us about the usage and everything but yeah this is my first time using the pop-up camera so just hearing the sound and everything that's weird man that's that's kind of dope too but all right y'all that's gonna be pretty much it for me right now i'm gonna have some more lg wing content coming to y'all soon so stay tuned for that and lg said that this thing's gonna get three years of updates so i'm looking forward to that but hopefully you enjoyed this thanks for watching if you like this video go and give this video a like and if you really liked it go and subscribe but go and follow me on my social media at Santa on instagram and twitter and facebook but instagram and twitter is the most active let me know what specifically you want to see with this lg wing and i'm gonna go and see if i can get this thing unlocked looking at this right now though it looks like i can't do it right outside the box but anyways y'all thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one and